Good morning and welcome to Barefoot English. We're going to be meeting with Anna today. She will be joining our class in just a moment and we'll get started learning. Uh, we're working on her pre-starters book, which you guys got to see a little bit of last week and we'll just keep going. So I thank you for watching. I hope you like, share and subscribe if you do like these videos. Um, I hope they help you. That's really the only reason I'm putting them up is to give people more tools to to learn English from. So let's get started. Here comes Anna. So let's welcome her into the room. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, teacher. How are you today? I'm great. How are you not going? My tent was very nice. It was very nice. It was nice and quiet and relaxing. I slept a lot. How was your tent? Uh, I sleep a lot. Really? Did you get to sleep late? Did mommy let you sleep late? Um, uh, no, but no. <laughs> I, in my house, but my mom, sometimes my mom have, I, let me late. Oh, good. And did you get to visit with your cousin? No. Your cousin wasn't there? I thought your cousin was visiting your sister. Yes. Yeah, she was, she was visiting. Did you guys have fun? Yes. Yeah. Now, we are recording this for all those viewers out there. Can you say hello to everybody out there? Hello. Oh, good. Well, we are going to jump into her, her book first. So let's hang on a second. And we're going to open this. Okay. Hopefully, this is recording again. And we're going to share our screen. Yeah. Whoop. Share screen. Okay. All right. So we finished these animals. What animals do you see there? Can you tell me what animals you see? A mouse, a sheep, and a duck, and a horse, and a bird. A bird. Can you spell those words? Uh, the easy peasy. M O U S E. Good. S and S H E E P. Good. And quack quack. Uh, uh, D U C. What letter is that? Uh, a door. Yeah, a door. A, a duck. What letter is no, that? No, a door. A door? A door, not a duck. Yes, a duck? my door. Oh, Donald Duck? No, I say door. Door? Who's a door? Yes, my door. Oh, your doll. Oh, you have a... D do you have a doll, a duck doll? Ah, uh, I say a door, not a duck. A, a door. door, a door. Oh, I understand. With some, okay. Can you spell the number four word? That is it, PZ. H O R S E. Excellent. And the very last word the is B I R D. Oh, very good. So you got your I and your D right. Excellent. Good job there. Good job. Now we're going to skip this finger painting thing. 
Oh yeah, I love painting. I know you do. Yeah, I, know. I see it. I see this. Now, can you can you find the words that match these animals? Can you read the expression? I'm a chicken. What number is I'm a chicken? I'm a chicken. Yeah, which number is I'm a chicken? What number animal? Uh, Anna is a chicken. Anna, are you a chicken? If you were a no. chicken, if you were a chicken, what number would you be? One, two, three, four, five, or six? Five. Th right, five. That is right. You would be a chicken if you were number five. What if I said I'm a duck? What if I said Anna is a duck? No, David is a duck. Oh, teacher David is a duck? Okay. I'm a duck. Quack, quack, quack. What number am I? Four. Four. Very good. Now. Your duck, your duck next to me. That's right. I'm a duck next to you. You're a chicken and I'm a duck. You're going burp, 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 and I'm going quack, quack, quack. All right. Now, if I say ba, ba, what animal am I? Uh, no, Anna is a, a sheep. Oh. Anna is one. Anna oh. is one. Okay, so Anna is one. She is a sheep. What color should that sheep be? Uh, like rainbow sheep. A rainbow sheep? Can you color that sheep into a rainbow real quick? Oh, that uh, uh, blue and yellow, purple, okay? Okay, blue, yellow, and purple. <laughs> I like the way you make those colors. Those are your favorite colors. And I finished that. Yeah. Good job. Now, I am a tall animal and I like to jump and run. And you can ride on my back. What animal am I? No, Anna is the horse. Anna oh. chose the number three. Oh, okay. So you are a tall animal that likes to run and jump. And I can ride on your back. And you are... Number three, a horse. Good job. Now, I'm a little animal, and I like to bark. Woof, woof, woof. Oh, excuse me. Anna is a little animal, and she likes to bark. Woof, woof, woof. What number is she? Uh, no. I am the mouse. Oh, Because okay. I'm, so, I'm small, but, but I am a good one. I, I small. I'm okay. Small. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> so I can be. <clears throat> excuse me. I can be the last animal on our list. The I can be the last animal in our in our lineup. The dog and you are the mouse. What number is the mouse? Two. Number David two. is. David is a dog, right? Yeah, I'm a dog, number six. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> I'm a little black and white dog. All right. Now, do you want to color some more or let's skip coloring? Skip coloring. Okay, we're going to skip coloring. Now, look at the pictures and we're going to, you're going to tell me the one word answer about what they can and can't do. So in our first one, we have an example. 
the mouse can run, right? Because in the picture, it looks like the mouse is running, yes? Yes. Good. The horse can, what is the horse doing? Jumping all on the fence. That's right, he's jumping over the fence. So we would say the horse can jump. Can you say that? The horse, the horse can jump. Excellent. Now, what is that dog? What is the duck doing? What's the duck doing? Swimming, swimming on the water. That's right. He's swimming on the water. He's on top. He's floating on top. So we would say the duck can can swim. Can swim. Very good. Number four, that little chicken looks like he's flapping his wings, but he can't do what? The chicken can't? Fly. Can't fly. fly. That's right. Ch chickens can sort of fly a little bit. They're just not very good at it, but they can fly up into a tree. And then when they jump down, they can sort of fly a little bit forward, but they can't stay up in the air like a lot of birds. What is the sheep doing? He's looking up at that fence because he can't. He can jump over the fence. That's right. He can't jump. He is stuck on the other side of the fence. He's looking up and going, oh, it's too high. Bah, bah. What is the dog doing? It looks like the dog is... Run to the bone. Ah, he's running to the bone. That, that one is a funny one because that almost looks a little bit like the dog might be running. But sometimes dogs like to go like this, like, and we say they want to play. Play. Oh. Yeah, just like when you go and play in the playground and run around with your friends, right? You like to play? Yes. Yeah, well, dogs like to play too, and the dog can play. So those are all verbs. Those are all actions that we do, right? Run. Yes. Run, run. Jump. Run. Jump. Swim. Swim. Fly. Fly. Jump again. Jump again. And play. And play. Yeah, those are all action things that we all love doing. Now, ooh, look at this. We have a bunch of fun animals. These are jungle animals. What animals do you see? Oh, a frog on the rock line and a wizard on the rock line and a spider next to the crocodile. Yeah, the spider is a is above the crocodile, right? Yes. Yeah, it's hanging above the crocodile. And and he's scared. He's is the is the but, crocodile scared of the spider? No, I say the spider scared scared the crocodile, but the crocodile don't eat him. But but spiders scared strong animals like tigers. Monkey don't scare scare tiger, right, teacher? Well. Monkeys could be a little scared of tigers because if a tiger gets hungry, it might want to eat the monkey, right? If it can catch yes. it. Yeah, but monkeys are pretty fast and they can jump around into the trees and get away from the, from the tiger. The tiger probably likes to hunt things like the giraffe, right? Or the elephant, what else is what's in the what's in the grass in front of the tree? A, a snake. A snake. Ooh, does that snake look scary or does it look friendly? Uh, I see her her face like friendly. 
Yeah. In fact, do you think any of the animals look scary in there? All the animals look like um, they're... Maybe. Maybe. They look pretty happy. They all seem to be smiling and look like they're having a good time. The only one that's really not happy is the spider because the spider is scared of the crocodile. What big animals do you see in the picture? I, I see an elephant. An elephant? And what is next to the elephant? What animal is next to him? Giraffe. A giraffe. Very good. And there's one animal that's in the water swimming. This is a, a hippo. Good. Now, that hippo is very funny because he is pink. Can you color him pink? Well, I see him, okay, pink. What do you think? What, did you think he should be a different color? Mm, nope. Yeah, hippos actually, they can look gray, but they can also look kind of pinkish color, especially when they're babies. Finish. Good. What animal is under the frog? Uh, uh, under the frog? Yeah. The frog is sitting on the back of an animal. A wizard. A lizard. That's right. And that lizard is yellow with red spots. I like that. Good. Can you color that little lizard yellow with red spots? Okay. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not finished yet. Finished. Oh, good. Now, what animal is hanging over the crocodile? I'm seeing He's He's above the crocodile. He's hanging over his head. Oh, a spider. A spider. That little spider is very funny because he is purple. What? Yeah. Uh, purple and pink, yes. Purple and pink? pink? Okay, you make that little spider purple and pink. And pink. All right. Now we are going to color one more animal. And it is the animal that is hiding in the grass in front of the tree. What A tiger. Oh, the tiger is, hunt is hiding in the grass behind the tree. What animal is in front of the tree? A snake. A snake. Very good. What color should that snake be? Mm, yeah. Purple and red and yellow spots. Oh, wow. Purple and red and yellow spots. I like that. Can you color that snake real quick? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Finish. All right. Now, I'm going to read some 
some statements and you're going to say true or false. Okay. The giraffe is next to the elephant. True or false? True. True. The spider is on the crocodile. True or false? False. False. That's right. He is over the crocodile or above the crocodile. The tiger is behind the tree. True or false? True. Very good. That is true. The tiger is behind the tree. The monkey is in the tree. True or false? Uh, true. True. That's right. Because we can say when we see an animal like way up inside a tree sitting on a branch, we can say the animal is in the tree. We can also say the animal is on the tree. So either word you use there is really actually correct, in or on, but that's very good. The last one is the frog is on the elephant. True or false? Spot. That's right. Where is the frog? On the crocodile. On the crocodile. Good. Very good. Annoying. Now, for this one, we have to use the words yeah. yes, it is, or no, it isn't. Yeah. Yes, it is, or no, it isn't. Is the elephant next to the giraffe? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Good. Is the lizard in the tree? No, on the crocodile. That's right. And we would say, no, it isn't. It's on the crocodile. Yeah, no, it is. Um, Our next one, is the monkey next to the spider? No. No, it is. No, it isn't. Good. Because the monkey on the tree branch. That's right. And the spider has a whip, a whip on the, the, the tree branch. That's right. The, the spider is under that other branch and far away because from you. Because he, he has a spider, a spider web, a spider right. web. And way long and on the bucket, I am very scary. Yeah, he gets down. He's like, oh, I think I'm going to go for a swim. And he's going down. Ah, there's a crocodile. Run away. Run back up. He's got to run back up his web and get back up into the tree. Is but the he isn't because he have a long web. Yeah, he does have a very long web. So, how about I have a scissor? I cut the web and the spider it and the crocodile eat him. Oh no! Are you gonna you're gonna cut you're gonna cut the web of the spider and make him fall down into the crocodile's mouth? Oh, of course. <laughs> Do you think the spider is going to be happy? Uh, yes, because yes. he has a new home. Have oh. a new home. <laughs> You're funny. You're silly. All right. We've got another question. Is the frog on the lizard? No. Is the frog... On the lizard. Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is on the lizard. Is the lizard on the crocodile? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Good. And our last question 
is the crocodile behind the tree? I mean, huh? No. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. What's behind, what animal is behind the tree? A tiger. A tiger. Does a tiger have stripes or spots? Stripes. Stripes, that's right. They're beautiful animals. Do you like tigers? No. No, why not? Are you scared of them? Yes, my mom is scared of snakes a lot. Your mom is scared of snakes a lot? Yes. Have you, have you ever seen a snake at your house? Uh, yes, sometimes. Sometimes you've seen a snake at your house? Yes. Does it come inside? Yes. Oh, and does mommy get really scared and chase it out? No. My mom scares snakes, but, but my dad why we not scare snakes. He is a weapon and boom, 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 <laughs> and scare the snakes run away. Oh, good job. So daddy saves the day and keeps the snakes away. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, you have a very brave... But my dad scares spiders. Oh, so is your mommy scared of spiders? Nope. Nope. So when there's a spider, your I'm mommy... I'm scared of spiders, too. You're scared of spiders? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I used to... When I first came here, I didn't realize that some of the spiders are very big and run really, really fast, <laughs> right? And I was scared of them because they would come in my house and run around. And I was like, ah, they're so scary. But then a friend of mine saw one in my house and she just picked it up and it stood on her hand. And she said, you don't need to be scared of these spiders. They don't bite. And after that, they don't bother me anymore. So I, I can see them in my house and I don't get scared. Now, number one, what animal is that? A frog. A frog. But she, I see a cat climbing trees. You see a cat climbing a tree? Yes, in my house. No, next to my grandma's house. Next to your I grandma's house? Wow. Did yes. He, did he climb way up high in the tree? No, she. She, she not a oh. A boy, oh, it's a, a girl, a, a, a cat. A, a that kid. is a sister, sister cat. A sister cat. Uh, so it's a sister cat, a girl cat, <laughs> and uh, she climbed up the Not tree. Me. She, she, she did, did it. Did she gr climb very high? A uh, nope, just like this. Do you see my hand like that? Uh huh, like that high. And were you playing with her when she climbed? Yes. Yes. The cat climbed very, very, very good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Cla cats like to climb things. They're very good at climbing things. Um, do you think a hippo can climb things? But hippos, very, uh, very fat. Don't, don't fly, no, don't fly. Yeah, so he doesn't climb, right? So the hippo can't climb, but the cats and the spiders and the frogs and the monkeys and the snakes and the lizards, they can all climb. Now, can you spell the word frog with me? Frog, F-R-O-G. Good. Can frog. You can you write the word frog underneath where it says frog on number one? Can you write the word frog? A uh, where? Right here underneath, right? F R O G. That's easy.
Finish. Good. Now, number two, what animal is that? Uh, a spider. A spider. Spider. L I Z Spider S P I D A E What's that last letter? I'm not finished yet. You're not finished? No. Oh, what are you are you writing are you writing the whole word black spider? No. No, just the word spider. Really, I almost finished. Okay, I'm waiting. Even though the zoo is, I mean, the circus is calling me. You, you lying to me, right? Yeah, the circus is not calling me. I'm not going to join the circus. Don't worry. All right, number three. What animal is number three? Uh, a wizard. A lizard. And can you spell lizard for me? Uh, okay. Uh, I don't see it, teacher. You don't see it? What page are you on in your book? We are on page 48. 48 right here. You see 48 on the little bull head? No, I'm, uh, I, um, I already write it. Yes, I already write it. Oh, good. You already wrote it. Good job. Number four, what animal is number four? Uh, monkey. A monkey. And number, and, uh, number one is six, a hippo. That's right. So we have a monkey, a snake, and a hippo. Can you write those words for me in your book? Uh, okay. And then we're going to stop here. And we're going to start a new activity when we come back after our break, okay? Okay. Well, Mickey, I have finished. Yeah, no problem. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna run away anywhere. Don't worry. Oh, are you getting it done? Uh, you so big. Okay. You so big. 
Yeah, so we're going to... I want you to show me your writing just so I can see how you're, how it looks. Okay. And we're going to play a game when we get back and do a song. Cause there's a song that I heard the other day. I hadn't heard it for a long time and I thought you would like it. And it's an action verb song. So it kind of goes into what we've been learning about running and jumping and playing and different things that we do. All right, how are you doing? Have you got it almost finished? Yes, yes, I already finished. Oh, yes. good. Can I see it? Can you show me the page? Can you hold the page oh. to the camera? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, good. So I see crocodile. Good. You wrote some of the words. Very good. You're doing okay. Good. So we're going to take a break right now for 10 minutes, okay? And I okay. will be back here again. So I want to thank everybody for watching. And we will see Anna again in just a few minutes for our second part of the lesson, all right? Okay. Bye-bye, Anna. Bye. Bye-bye, Anna. Bye.